This video is just about how to reduce a reducible representation to the sum of irreducible representations. And so let's consider this reducible representation in the C3V point group. So we've come up with that the representation equals 4, 1, 2. And so in the C3V point group, those numbers represent the E, the C3, and the sigma V classes. So this is C3V. Okay, so say you came up with this reducible representation um, for your modes or whatever, how, however we came to this, doesn't matter. Now, we want to come up with this representation as a sum of, so this is going to, to also equal the sum of some number of A1s plus some number of A2s plus some number of E representations. And so we're trying to find out what those coefficients are. The way we can do that is to work through each irreducible representation using our reduction formula that's shown up here at the top. Okay, so um, to find the number of irreducible representations of a given type, so that's, you know, what is the coefficient on, let's start with A1, so we start with each one, um, then we know that that is equal to, following our formula, 1 over the order. So the order in this point group, we said, is the number of total operations. So that's 1e plus 2c3s plus 3 sigma v's, or 6. We also know we can find that as the sum of squares of the dimensions, which are in this uh, first column. So 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared also equals 6. So here our order equals 6. So we set up 1 over 6, and then this summation, we're going to step through all of the operations, all the classes um, in this point group. So for each of these numbers, I'm going to color code. So we're going to use blue to represent the number of operations in the class. We're going to use green to represent the character of the irreducible representation. And we're going to use purple to represent the character of the irreducible representation. Okay, so for each operation, we're going to start with the number of operations in the class. So that's going to be the coefficients in front of the operations. So for this one, um, we're, going to, we're going to start with the uh, identity class, and there's one identity operation. Okay, so next we're going to add have multiply that by the character of the reducible representation. So that's going to be the numbers in our reducible representation, the 4, the 1, and the 2. So here for the E um, class, we're going to have a 4. And then the character in the irreducible representation. So that's going to be for A1. Those are going to be the numbers in the character table. So for the identity class, and the A1 irreducible representation, that number is a 1. Okay, and so then we're going to go to the next class, which is the C3V class. And so we see that the coefficient number is a 2. The number in the irreducible representation is a 1. And the number in the uh, irreducible representation is also a 1. All right, same thing for the sigma V class. There are three operations in that class. The number in the reducible representation is a 2. And the number in the irreducible representation is also a 1. Okay, so when we put all that together, we see, um, you know, 1 times 4 times 1 is 4. And 2 times 1 times 1 is 2. And 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So 4 plus 2 plus 6 equals 12. Divided by the order is 6. So that's going to be two A1s. So we know that in our sum, we have two A1 representations. That's the number of irreducible representations of this type. OK, so next we're going to do the same thing for A2. And this is going to go a little bit faster because we already know the order. And we'll see that um, the you know, first two numbers are the same. And then. Um, we only need to fill in the 
number for the reducible representation. And so um, we'll work our way through here. And we see that for the A2, the first two numbers are ones. And it's this last number that ends up being different. And we'll see that that makes all the difference. So we put a negative one there. Okay, so now when we add all this up, we see that four plus two minus six, that equals zero. So there are zero A2s as part of our sum. Finally, we'll find out how many E's. So this is E, the irreducible representation. Um, and once again, we do the same thing. And we see that we can sort of get all of our parentheses set up here. Um, that the, the blue numbers, so the numbers of the operations in each class, those are the same. The numbers in the irreducible representation are the same. And the only thing that's changed is the number in the, um, the irre irreducible representation. So here that's 2, negative 1, and 0. Okay, so here we have um, 8 plus negative 2 equals 6 plus 0 equals 6. So this will be 6 divided by 6 equals 1e. E. Okay, so we see that we can represent our reducible representation as being equal to 2a1s plus an e. What's nice about this is it's sort of self-checking. If you get a number that can't be divided by the order, then you know that something is wrong. Um, and so we have our, this is our reducible representation as the sum of of uh, re irreducible representations. And so if we think about what that means, come over here to the side. 2a1s plus 1e. So, so 2a1s. So if we think about that as the, in the C3v point group, that that's e, 2c3, and 3 sigma v, that a1 is a 1, a 1, and a 1. And then another a1, because we have two of those, is 1, a 1, and a 1. And an e is a, a 2, a negative 1, and a 0. If we sum all of those up, we see, so 1 plus 1 plus 2 is 4. 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 is 1. And 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2. So the, what it means to, for a reducible representation to be a sum of irreducible representations is that if we added up the numbers in those rows that we would get the total of the irreducible representation. And we find that because of the magic of group theory, there's only one possible way to add up all of those numbers and, and get that answer. That's what it means that those irreducible representations are orthogonal. There's no other way to represent this. I think this is kind of cool, but it takes a little bit of practice to get used to. Um, in a lot of cases, we will go through this really quickly. I'll assume that you can come back to this video and watch it over and over again until it makes sense to you.